Hi, I'm Minnie. In this video, I'll discuss global information variables in SAP CPQ. These variables contain values that can be read by any product or quote. Using GI variables, information can be passed among quotes and products through the simple use of a tag. GI variables can be defined as a quote property within a product model or as a separate cart level aggregate. No matter where the GI is defined, it's available across all categories and products. I'll briefly take you through how to create and retrieve GI variables. GI variables can be created in two ways, explicitly and implicitly. Explicitly, GI variables are created by using the tag setGI and product rules, triggers, and more. To create a GI variable within an expression, use this tag. This tag can be used anywhere where an expression can be built, rules, triggers, calculated fields, and more. To create a GI, I need to define a key and a value that the key holds. The value can be text or numeric, can vary from a static value to a dynamic value using another expression. In this GI expression, K100 is the key and 100 is the value of that key. Implicitly, GI variables are created using cart aggregates and quote custom fields. To create GI variables, I'll navigate to setup, quotes, cart level aggregates, and click add new. Here I can enter a key name and a value for GI in the expression field. The value can be a text, numerical value, or expression. After a GI is created, it's accessible from any category, product, or generated document. Retrieving a value can be done by using this tag. This tag can be used anywhere where the value of the GI is needed. GI variables are also accessible by Microsoft Word generated documents. By using this tag in a Word quote document, the value of the specified GI variable is displayed. Now I'll discuss how to explicitly create and retrieve a GI variable. I'll add a formula using GI variables that will sum up the total number of child products in a product and display the number in a quote. Let's get started. I've created a product, audiovisual bundle system, that contains an attribute container as one of its attributes. The audiovisual container, in turn, contains a hidden column, quantity, which is used to hold the number of child items that a user enters during configuration. Now I'll go back to our product and add a formula that looks like this. This formula here will sum up and display the total quantity of all child items. If we compare this formula to the standard tag, G lines is a key that can be retrieved. And the remaining part of the formula indicates the value that the key retrieves. As a next step, I'll create a specific field to display this information in the quote. I'll navigate to the Custom Fields tab in the Quotes workspace and click Add New. I'll name it Number of Child Products, set it as free form, and place it in the Quotation tab. I'll set the calculation type to every time the quote is modified. Now comes the important part. In the formula field, I'll enter the tag to retrieve a value from the formula created earlier. Next, I'll go to the permissions tab and set this field as read only because I want this field to only display the number of child items and not allow the user to enter anything. I'll click save. Now, I'll exit setup. From the user end, I'll configure our product, audiovisual bundle system, adding combination of attributes and quantities of my choice. In the quote, the quantity of the child items is indicated here, seven in all. 
If I scroll down, I see that the custom field number of child products contains the exact number of child products, seven. Also, this field isn't editable because I've defined it as a read-only field earlier. Thanks for watching.